today we are looking at another cup of code um, so I just want to showcase a small uh, component uh, when it comes to angular material a drop-down menu and how you can implement search filter in a drop-down so what we want to achieve is basically when you type savings you're able to see uh, the savings and when you select it it only shows the savings um, um, div right here and then when you uh, remove that it shows all of them or when you select all it shows all and then let's just search another current and is able to filter our drop down menu so the objective is to handle our drop down menu like that and also have the search filter right here so let's see how we can achieve this and get it done with angular um, typescript so we want to go to our code base and the first things first we are going to start from the html part of it so we're going to ignore all the other elements and just focus on the drop down right there so let's go on our um, <coughs> dashboard component so we have all of these and we have all of these uh, let's just see here so this is um, the body uh, that's the this is the header and that's the profile section which is this section right here and then we have the actual uh, about me uh, uh, part here and then about me is yeah it's this part right here the nav is that one over there and then the main body which is uh, this part right here so we're gonna go to accounts and accounts is this uh, header right there and then we have a met divider on the after the header then we have the form which has our drop down like that so this is the drop down and it has a form because we want to uh, be able to search so let's go to the form part is basically this is our form group um, we create our form group like that and then we give it a name of uh, account type form group this fg and then we have a div there that contains our form fields and on our form fields we have a form field uh, this form field ends right here which actually contains the entire select so this form field is the first form field that we see here which is the actual select itself and it has the select as you can see here and it has a label of account type so this is uh, the account type that's the label that it has over there and we are able to then say this is our options that we want to have so the select itself the drop down is this met select and it has a form control name of account type fc which is the form control so account type form control then you say it's required and we actually don't need this required but it can be there that's fine if you want it to be required and then we have a function on select change like that so when you select um, an, an option here on the drop down we want to kick off that function to actually show the account that was selected right there so this is display selected account you'll see this on the tier side on the class <coughs> So we'll see display selected account <coughs> and then what we have after that or inside the select option is a map met uh, form field so that form field has a label of search and the search has an input key uh, an input um, <coughs> element here <coughs> sorry about that and then that input um, input uh, component will be we'll have a key up uh, check my, uh, function which is on key that we'll use to search each time the key is uh, pressed so on key basically this is key pressed um, event um, check and then we just pass in that event and we search uh, based on the input that the user gave us here if we have what they're looking for and then 
uh, this is basically the search form field uh, the search form field which is this one over this is the search which you see here and you can click on the search and you can start typing and it filters the list so you just have the all which is hard coded and then the list itself which is dynamic can be filtered like that <coughs> so you can see the moment you remove everything entry it just goes back to everything that is on the list and also you can be able to filter that so that's the search form field that does that and then it has the key up um, uh, trigger that is basically waiting on this function on key which you want to see just now and then we have the mat option which is all and all is just a default um, option over there and then we have our mat option which uses ng4 to iterate our account type lookup list so the lookup list is basically the list that has the account types uh, savings and current so we just use that to add that and then the value will be the id and then the lookup then you just get the name to display and on that option so basically that is what we have and this is essentially our, our form uh, our entire form to actually filter and also select um, options on a drop down menu using angular material so with the front end being uh, discussed now let's just go and see on select change what happens over there and also on key uh, function what happens over there so let's go to our TS file here just go to the very top so we can ignore uh, all the other parts they just for the dashboard itself so you can see our component here and our selector is app dashboard our template URL is uh, HTML and then our style URL is the CSS and then going to the class itself which is dashboard component uh, it does implement on init and on init let's just see here on init so ng on init you can see we populate the dashboard data we populate the profile data then we um, populate the lookup list so get account type lookup list we populate that as well so as you can see here there are a number of variables so these we can ignore that is fine but we are focusing on account type lookup which is basically can be any and if you do have an interface for account type you can also uh, specify that particular data type for the account type lookup using that interface to say maybe interface account type um, it has an id and a name because it's just a lookup so the id will be the value and then the name will be the description and that's basically it but for now we're just using any and it should be empty like that then uh, we, now this is our lookup list and then the next variable is our form group which you specified right here so this is the form group uh, for our entire form that is what we're going to use account type fg and that is basically what we use here and uh, our form group has a form control of account type fc so the account type fc as you can see here is basically that selection over there so based on what is selected from the uh, drop down you want to take that particular value and use it so this is our form control name and it's that um, so now that we have our form and we have our list we are then uh, going to add um, based on the selection we want to have two boolean variables and say uh, show current account show savings account this is just a contrast to see which one is which so these two are controlling which um, which um, which account type to show based on the selection. So if I select savings, it shows the savings. If I select all, it's going to show all of them. And then that's basically the boolean um, variables that we need. So that's that's what we have there. And then on our constructor, we have private account, which is account service that actually does our HTTP calls. It handles all our HTTP um, requests and responses. So 
we won't dive much into that because we're not interested in the uh, back end or what the back end does we just want to have a drop down filter it and see it in action if you want to see how a service does http response i recommend checking our um angular tutorials we share that at length and in much more details and also i would uh, just request you guys to please do like and subscribe if you um already subscribed we appreciate you hope you share the video with other devs and yeah also if you're looking for the code base you can just request it and i'll make it available uh, via git repo and you will have it as well so <clears throat> with that being said let's just keep moving so basically this will populate our <coughs> account type lookup list so let's go there so as you can see this is the method that populates the lookup list and we basically say this dot account dot retrieve account lookup service and this lookup service if we go to it you can see here what it does is um, this dot http dot get so we do a retrieve using http and we are expecting a service response and we're basically returning uh, we're calling that particular api over there so it is base url lookup account type then it will give us the response as a service response which is a custom uh, response and we'll get the data as we expect once we get the data we come back here and we just subscribe that http call and then we say uh, next which is basically going to give us the response that we want which is a service response and then we say if data dot uh, if response has data then we want to say the account type lookup is equal to response to data. So the data is going to come from the service response that we get on calling that API. And then uh, we will have our list over here. So once the list is available to us, we are now able to then filter it, um, select and do any business logic that we want to do because this was just a retriever. So now let's get into the gist of uh, display selected and on key click to or to actually filter the list so now let's get to that we're going to start with display selected accounts so let's go to display selected account so display selected account is nothing uh complicated we just check the account type dot controls which is account type control dot value and the value remember is the id then based on the ID that was selected, we're able to say uh, show current account is false and then show um, service account true. And then if the account type selected is true, then show current account true, show savings account false. And because these uh, the this list is so short, I can I can do this and it should be fine. But if your list is much more dynamic, then your conditions would meet. You'll need to be much more robust and also uh, pretty straight to your use case, so that you're able to um, achieve what you want for your drop downs. But this is just to show you that upon selecting a field, you can be able to get the value, and then based on the value that you get from the list, you can then do some business logic uh, over there to hide uh, certain components or show different components or just throw a pop-up and say this was selected confirm or not and basically carry on with the business logic over there so this is what display selected does and these boolean conditions go back to our html you will see that this div uh, let me show you these divs the account divs so this one is show current account so it has it nests everything inside the current account and then the show savings account nests everything inside the current account so that's the one that we have right here so i just use an ng if here to show how based on the condition so if it's true it's going to show this this one or if it's false it's just going to hide it in the same way here i just use an ng if show current account and then if it's true it's going to show that if it's false it's going to hide it so that's what happens uh, when this uh, function is called. And then now let's go to the filter itself. So the filter is basically this on key, which is input here. 
and then that filter uses on key and on key is this function over here so what we do in on key we take in an event which is any and then we say this account type lookup which is the lookup list we want to say this dot filter account type so this is a function that we have which is filter account type we want to pass in the event target value then we want to get the value that was um, inputted here on our search so let's go back to all and then we're gonna type we wanna take this value of save and we wanna pass it to filter account now let's see what filter account does so filter account has it takes in a value of string and it says let filter value to lowercase so we take that to lowercase and then we say return this lookup dot filter so this is a built-in method for a list to filter the list and then we say the option is any and we say option dot name dot to lowercase dot includes filter so we want to make sure that the value that we got for our filter is actually one of these so it's going to iterate the list and say do any of the options that I have in the list include the value that was passed in on this filter here which is that so that is what basically that means so this this filter value that we have here does any of the options that are in the list contain or include this save uh, this save value that we have here and if we remove it it just returns everything and you're gonna see this now and if we say current it just adds that one so this one is default one so it's either you select this one or you just select all then it will do that so now that we are able to iterate and filter the list based on the value that we passed in we just return the list as is that we have filtered so we return the filtered list and we take it to the account lookup and we will have that come back but then if the list or here if the list is empty then you can handle that differently but here what we do is we say if event or target dot value is empty just call the default um, load uh, function which will then just populate the entire list instead of just leaving the list empty uh, we just populate it and it should basically go back to its original form so if there's current here it will return the current and then if there's nothing it basically then calls the default function to actually populate the entire list so that's what happens there and that's how we're able to achieve um, this functionality over here to have a drop down with all our options and we're able to type in and filter based on what we have so and as you can see if I type something else nothing comes back because the list does not have that but I remove everything comes back then I type savings savings comes back and I click enter savings is selected and I click all then all are selected and that is basically it so i wanted to keep this short and sweet and i hope you do like and subscribe so for now cheers